Okay, we're looking at Acts chapter 12 today, and we're looking at Peter's miraculous escape from prison. It says in 12.1, It was about this time that King Herod arrested some who belonged to the church, intending to persecute them. He had James, the brother of John, put to death with the sword. When he saw that this pleased the Jews, he proceeded to seize Peter also. This happened during the Feast of Unleavened Bread. After arresting him, he put him in prison, handing him over to be guarded by four squads of four soldiers each. Herod intended to bring him out to, for public trial after the Passover. So Peter's in prison, four squads of four guards each watching him. Sixteen people. So Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying to God for him. Pastor Greg Laurie has a great sermon on this. I'll try to put a link below in the description. You definitely want to watch that. The night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains, and sentries stood guard at the entrance. Suddenly an angel of the Lord appeared, and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up. Quick, get up, he said, and the chains fell off Peter's wrists. And the angel said to him, Put on your clothes and your sandals. And Peter did so. Wrap your cloak around you and follow me, the angel told him. So Peter thinks he's having a dream. He follows this angel. They get to the gates of the city and all of a sudden Peter wakes up and is like, Wait a second, this wasn't a dream. This was real. This just happened. And Peter says, Now I know without a doubt that the Lord sent his angel and rescued me from Herod's clutches and from everything the Jewish people were anticipating. When this dawned on him, he went to the house of Mary, the mother of John, also called Mark where many people had gathered and were praying. Peter knocked at the outer entrance, and a servant girl named Rhoda came to answer the door. When she recognized Peter's voice, she was so overjoyed she ran back without opening it and exclaimed, Peter is at the door! You're out of your mind, they told her when she kept insisting that it was so. They said it must be his angel. And again, Pastor Greg Laurie says, wouldn't you open the door for his angel, even if that's who it was? <laughs> and it's just funny. It just shows what we do as people. But Peter kept on knocking, and when they opened the door and saw him, they were astonished. People motioned with his hand for them to be quiet and described how the Lord had brought him out of prison. Tell James and the brothers about this, he said, and then he left for another place. In the morning, there was no small commotion among the soldiers as to what had become of Peter. And this is what we're talking about when we say that the soldiers had to be killed if the prisoners escaped. Here it talks about it right here in chapter 12, verse 19. After Herod had a thorough search made for him and did not find him, he cross-examined the guards and ordered that they be executed. 